Good afternoon, Rodeline. Good afternoon, ma'am. Can you tell me about yourself? Hi, ma'am. Good day. Rodeline Matore. I'm married, 29 years old. I have two kids, my eldest, 12 years old, and my youngest, 9 years old. Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer, Rodeline, so let's start. Okay, ma'am. Why do you want to work as a maid? I support my family and especially my kids. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? Because they're in the Philippines, ma'am. Yes. How are you qualified for this job as a housemaid? Because I'm hardworking, ma'am, and a good person. May I know what your educational level is? I'm grad alternative learning system. So you are a high school graduate? Yes, ma'am. What was your recent working experience? No, ma'am. Have you worked abroad before? No, ma'am. Do you have experience of taking care of babies? Yes, ma'am. Which babies did you take care before? My kids, ma'am. How about assisting elderly? Yes, ma'am. My grandmother. Do you have any other special skills? No, ma'am. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? No, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. What sort of food can you cook? Filipino dishes, ma'am. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores that I have mentioned to you, which do you like most? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores that I have mentioned to you, like washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking, which do you like most? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores that I have mentioned to you, like washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking, which do you like most, Rodeline? Cleaning, ma'am. Why cleaning? Because I'm hardworking to finish my piece. And responsible. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your children? My mother, mom. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. Yes, mom. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing of using your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone. Yes, ma'am. Are you agreed to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understand? Two years, ma'am. Can you describe for me your attitude? I am hardworking and good person and honest, ma'am. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? I'm hardworking and I'm... Good housemaid, ma'am. Okay, so assure to us that you will finish the two years contract here in Malaysia. Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to use the house telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? 
Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, breast cancer, or any other illness? No, ma'am. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergies, or physical defects? No, ma'am. Do you smoke? No. Have you undergone any operation before? No, ma'am. Are you medically fit or are you fit to work? I'm medical fit, ma'am. Are you in any so, medication right now, Rodeline? Yes, ma'am. Are you in any medication right now? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you prepared to work for the employer of different races? Yes, ma'am. Are you prepared to eat the type of food taken or given by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid alone in the house? No, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any family members working in Malaysia? No, ma'am. Okay, we have finished our question section. Let's proceed for case study. I have a case study for you and I want you to respond truthfully. Okay, upon yes, arrival in Malaysia within six months only, if ever one of your family members passed away, what would you do? I want money to my family of them. Again, I send, I send money, mom, to my family. Okay, so to not how about your work here in Malaysia? Stay in Malaysia, mom. Okay, if in case your employer is watching you right now, what do you want to tell them? Hi, ma'am. Hi, sir. Good day. I'm Rodeline Matare, 29 years old. I'm married. I have two kids, my, 12, my eldest, 12 years old, and my youngest, 9 years old. I promise to my during duties, I'm hardworking and res my responsible and honest. Okay, what Thank employer you, ma need to hire you, Rodelin? Yes, ma'am. Why the employer need to hire you? Because I'm honest, hardworking, and responsible. Okay, um, thank you very much, Rodelin. We will update to your agency if there is any selection made by the employer. Okay, ma'am.